subscribe to Kia Mali. Boys and girls, so Leeds United away today in the second leg of the playoffs. It's currently advantage Leeds as they won 1 0 at Pride Park. Previously in the first leg. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Just there. Oh, 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 oh. There we go, boys and girls. Full time, 1 0 to Leeds. Four to play for at Ellen Road. 50% of me is absolutely buzzing, the other 50% is absolutely nervous. Let's go. Now then people, it's going to be about two hours for me to Leeds, but for you lot it's going to be a two minute clip sent in from LUSC vlogger Nathan. Top lad, I suggest you lot check out his channel. Let's see what this Leeds fan has to say. Alright Derby fans, it's the playoff second leg, it's at Ellen Road, we're currently 1-0 up on aggregate, which is obviously good in our favour, we've got the advantage. But can we hold it on? Uh, really, you'd probably think, oh, we're going to sit back all game. But no, Bial said in his uh, press conference that uh, we're going to go out all attack, just play normal. Um, thinking, hopefully we can get the early goal, see the game off, um, get Ellen Rove rocking. It's going to be rocking anyway, but if we get an early goal and go 2-0 up, it's going to be absolutely balancing. You, you lot are going to want it, you're going to go for it, you're going to cause us problems. Um, you're probably going to be probably the best we've seen out of the last three performances. A man who's as far as that Kamar Roof's out, he's probably been our best player against you lot. He's scored in every game we played, two away when we beat you 4-1. He scored once at Ellen Road and then he scored the other day against you, so Roof's probably been our threat against you. So Bamford's going to have to come back in after his suspension. Um, yeah, hopefully he performs well. I'm not sure about Wagon, he might be back for you. I'd definitely play Wagon over Nugent. Nugent was absolutely shite. I didn't even notice he went on the field. And, uh, but when you brought Mount on, he looked a bit, Mount looked a lot better. So, I'd definitely play Mount over Nugent. My score picks are going to be 2 1 leads. I think uh, you're, you are going to get an early goal, so you equal on aggregate. When it's going to go 1 0 to you at half time. Then we're going to get an early goal in the first half and then we're going to get another like in 85th minute or something to win this game and then win a free one on aggregate. So hopefully we can do it. Obviously I'm going to disagree. Let the best team win and come on Leeds. So lads, we've arrived at Ellen Road. Before we get in there, let's see what Connor from All Leeds TV thinks. Uh, go check out All Leeds TV top channel once again. Uh, so yeah, let's see what he has to say. Hey, up, Kean lads. Sorry, I've just managed to get a little bit of shade. God's own county, absolutely raring down with sunshine. Hope you're all right, Derby County fans. Hope you're all right, Kean. And Kean's asked me to send uh, you, you boys over a little bit of a preview, so. Yeah, I don't know how it's gone. Obviously, I presume this is going in his match vlog, but I'm um, hoping it's going to be good for Leeds. I don't know with you boys. I don't know. Are we Frank Lampard's kryptonite? I don't know. I've, I've just got a feeling we are. How many of your players, lone players, are going to want to fight for the cause as much as this Leeds United team? You know, we've just got players in for the cause. We don't, I don't think we've got any lone players, actually. We haven't. We've got no lone players. They're all signed down to, to long-term deals. And I do think that plays a big impact because players like Harry Wilson, you know, Mason Mount, they're going to be looking towards the future, um, not being at Derby next season, you know, because that is the realistic thing. And I think that does play a massive part, you know, to Maury as well. It's a massive thing, but you know, one thing you boys have got going for you is the fact that Leeds have got Kimar Roof out. I think Shackleton being in place was for sure. It's it's seamless because he was brilliant at the weekend. Shackleton, young Jamie Shackleton from the Academy, but Roof's Roof's torn you apart three times this season and Bamford is a little bit more as you boys will know, he's not as mobile, he's not as quick. I don't know if he's going to be in and about Tamori and Keo as much. I think Tamori is a good defender on his day and I think he does play better against more physical centre-forwards. So that is something that Derby definitely could um, tap into. Listen, I'm not thinking it's going to be a, a one-way swinger at all. I think it's going to be very, very tight. I do think we'll get over the line, if I'm honest. I think it's going to be difficult for a Derby County team, a young, young Derby County team to come to Allen Road and turn it over. And, and I just don't think Frank's got it in him 
to come against Leeds with a different mindset. I think, you know, a lot there was a lot of Derby fans saying that, you know, he, he did change and you were a little bit different against us. You know, we sat in a little bit and he didn't come at us. I don't agree. I think he did come at us the first 12 minutes. You were coming at us with, with a lot of ferocity, but there was, there was gaps left and, and, and we exploited that and we could have had two or three in that first half. You know, luckily for you boys, we once again, we were, we were hampered with injuries, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We could have Bielsa up front and, and it seems to never work for Derby against Leeds, but I could be eating my words, um, you know, I know how heartbreaking it is to have a to have a hoodoo against teams. Leeds have had there's been certain teams which we've not been able to beat in the past couple of years. But you know, it's a massive, massive game. I do think we'll get over the line. But Derby, I'm not counting out at all. But I, do, I just think he needs to set up differently. I think the, the guy's ego gets in front of him. Why why come against Leeds blow for blow again in the third game? I get that you don't want to change your, your ethos and your philosophy. But he's done it again at the weekend. And he's been punished for it. If he sat in a little bit, hit Leeds on the counter like many teams have done this season, he could have got a little bit more joy. But he hasn't done that. And now Derby are going to have to come out. And what that means is they're going to have to come out it's a young, youthful side and there's going to be pockets left there's going to be pockets of space that Leeds can exploit the bonus for you boys is that we don't have roof but we do have Patrick Bamford in who's got a very very good record for Leeds at the minute so we'll see how it goes I'm going for a 2-1 Leeds cheers Kian make sure you subscribe to all Leeds TV I'll see you in a bit right Alex Allen what's the score going to be today mate? well going into the game I'm, not, I'm feeling very confident to be honest with you yeah. um, I think we'll do it 2-0 Derby 2-0 Jack Marriott both of them Jack Marriott off love the bench. that come on, Derby. Yeah. come on Derby come on Derby come on Derby come on Derby come on Yeah. It's got it's yeah. What's that? Yeah. Say so again. Oh, power bank. Oh, what I'm going to Come on, Dobby. Come on! 
What a show, what a change from Frank Lampard. He brought on Jack Marriott. Lampard brought Jack Marriott on. And he's only gone and delivered. What a real scene. We're back in this. Get a ball in the second. And it's going to go to extra time. Here we go, boys. We're on the front court. Uh, players are out for the second. Come on, we've got to keep this going. Come on, we've got a Mason Mount. Shoot. Thank <laughs> you. 
deserves to be off for that. No place for that in football. He's off. He's that same man. And they've given him a foul.
Thank you.